And so this is our current internet voucher based system serving our apartment building and also in some parts of our barangay. Ito ang ating uh, network cabinet, nandiyan lahat ng ating core network equipment. So, pasensya na po kayo dyan, di pa na di pa ako tapos cabling, di pa na finalized And ito po ang ating emergency power supply. This is the EcoFlow Delta 2. The power for this is connected to the EcoFlow Delta 2. EcoFlow Delta 2 is connected to two input sources. One is AC and then the other one is solar. Yung solar natin, uh, currently, nakakonect siya to uh, 160 watts uh, solar panel. This is the EcoFlow uh, foldable 160 watt solar panel. Ayan. So, meant ito for, for camping or for portable use, pero for the time being, ito ginagamit natin. Pero eventually, we will uh, connect it via series connection to another 300 watts uh, power supply. Bakit po? Kasi the EcoFlow Delta 2 can support up to 500 watts of a solar panel. Ito po ninyo. Um, I think consumption is 97 watts and uh, 97 watts yun ang input kanina. So, yan, the, the, the power fluctuates kasi depende dito kung anong kailangan niya. Ayan, so ngayon, ang AC input is 94 and then the uh, consumption na uh, kanina is 94 watts also. <clears throat> so siguro we can still save on consumption kung gagawin ko talang bypass mo ba dito ano, itong ating Starlink. Currently, hindi ba ako bypass mo dyan kasi pag nag-troubleshoot ako, pag may ginagawa ako dito sa ating mga system dito, is pinsan, nagkoconnect ako direct sa Starlink router natin. <clears throat> so, um, in-depth, ito ang ating uh, network cabinet. So, so we have Globe, uh, 300 to 400 Mbps uh, fiber, and our uh, Starlink, um, sometimes we're getting uh, 150 to 200 pesos to 250 pa siya. So, both of these um, internet connections are load balanced by our um, TP-Link ER605. So, ito ang ating globe, ito ang ating uh, Starlink. And then, the TP-Link ER605 uh, is connected naman sa ating core switch, which is the TP-Link SG2210 uh, MP. 8 port siya. The uh, first port is connected to our TP-Link um, OC200. This is the uh, TP-Link OC200. Yan ang nagmamanage ng uh, ating pong sistema. No? Yan din ang nag-aalaw na magbigay tayo ng voucher-based system. Uh, uh, nag-aalaw siya na mag-create mag ng different Wi-Fi networks. We have several Wi-Fi networks. One for the main house, one for the free Wi-Fi that we are providing to um, parts of our barangay. Um, kaya natin ginagawa yun kasi meron tayo dito mga kasama na mga bata na mga ilangan ang um, wifi para sa kanilang pag-aaral so binibigyan natin yun at libre lang but, but just enough for them to browse for them to do messaging and for a, a little youtube pero siguro yung mga streaming kaya din naman pero pag pag uh, pagtsaga na nila yung ating bandwidth ang sineset para sa kanila so, uh, ating mga different access points is connected with different access points in the building and uh, yun nga, yun para sa ating sa barangay. Tignan natin yung mga uh, nakakabit sa building. Ito, ayan, ayan ang isa, uh, isa access point para makover kung sino man ang gusto free wifi within this area. Tapos, mayroon pa tayo dun. Another access point naman para mag-cover um, some parts of the building. Tapos, mayroon din tayo dito sa likod. Uh, by the way, we are at the fifth floor of our uh, apartment. Mayroon din tayo doon na nakalagay sa sixth floor ng apartment. Then, bakit? Kasi yung access point naman doon sa kapilang bahay na yun connects doon sa access point na yung parts na and also that access point yung gagawin ko para uh, jump off para to other areas in our barangay na maaabot ng, ng, ng kanyang access point lang so, so kung si Erin yun ang kulag ng, ano, ng internet then pwede kumunik rin sa access point niya ito naman para yung mga lugar dyan sa likod niya uh, magkaroon dyan uh, free wifi so yeah yan lang po ang ating ano Ayan na po ang ating current uh, setup para sa ating uh, uh, 
high speed and highly redundant Wi-Fi para sa ating bahay. So, tignan natin ang susunod na kabernata pag naayos ko na yan. Ayos ko ba yung mga kibre na yan? See you! Bye-bye! This update, uh, yung solar panel sa kaliwa is 160 watts. Solar panel sa kanan is 300 watts. So, kinabit natin sila. Naka-series sila. Uh, yung negative, kinabit sa positive. And then, all the rest, nakakabit yan dito sa ating uh, EcoFlow. So, ang input natin yan is 210 watts ang input and ang ating uh, consumption lang is 94 watts. So, yung input yun yung harvest natin. No? So, this EcoFlow is now charging and it's at 94%. So, it says here, uh, it's one hour to fully charge. Yan. So, currently, itong EcoFlow na to is running purely on solar. But, Ang gagawin natin is kakabit din natin siya sa AC So, para pag gabi, it's charging via AC And automatically pag uh, morning, um, 8 to 4 p.m. It's charging via solar Ayan, yan ang ating uh, update Very good See you guys!